Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a minute since I did any videoing. It's been a while. Um, kind of look like a drowned rat. Sorry. Let's get out of the shower. I just wanted to get some coffee. It is a absolutely gorgeous morning. It's only like 65 degrees. It is crisp and clear. Last night, the moon was so clear in the sky and I knew it was going to be a nice non-humid day. I'm hoping we get this kind of weather this weekend because it's my next tour show. We're back at um, back up at Hits where we were last time so again it's another two-day show. I'm gonna ride the same tests. Hopefully I've done some improvement. We'll see. Been working really hard at it. But horses are like this, you never know, we'll see. Um, I've also, I finally got my boots. I ordered custom made dressage boots many, many, many months ago and I was hoping to get it before the last show because I've been riding in my paddock and half chaps, which is allowed up through, I think it's first level or something like that. So technically I'm still allowed to ride in them, but I'm gonna, I knew I needed boots eventually anyway. And so I went ahead and ordered. Let me tell you, breaking these boots in has been one of the most painful things. Oh my God. They look like this. Nice, huh? And this is with some breaking in, you know, relaxing of the ankle. They were killing me. I had to wear them every day. I would put them on for hours at a time and force and try to stretch them because the leather stretches, but they make them really tight and really tall, so they're just like digging into the back of your knee when you just try to bend your leg at all. I could barely even walk in them, let alone sit. I had no idea breaking in tall dressage riding boots custom made could be so painful. <laughs> ah, so I'm wearing them everywhere. I Clean the barn in them and now I'm going to the tax store. So I've been riding both horses in them every day. I've been going everywhere in them. I vacuumed my house in them. Everything to try to break them in. And it's been about, I think this is the fifth day now. Yesterday they felt, while I was riding, they felt good. Like I wasn't thinking about them. <laughs> I wasn't crying in agony. <sighs> I had no idea it was gonna be that painful. Having a coffee, because it's early. Oh, it's a beautiful day though. I think it's gonna be warm, but hopefully not as warm as it was last time. Okay, let's get this boy. That's you, Max. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Would you like to go, Eddie? Tom, ta -dum -dum. It is time to load up. Got the truck running. Max is probably hiding somewhere. <laughs> okay, all ready. All ready, let's go. Cool. Boy. Socrates, New York. It's about a little 
less than an hour and a half for me. I meant to leave at 9. I left at 10, basically, or 9.30. Then I had to stop twice because I had adjusted my camera antenna, right? And then I had to stop again because I forgot to pee before I left. I had to pull into the Home Depot parking lot. But I'm good to go now. I drank too much coffee and too much tea. And I have a big thing of tea in here as well, iced tea, so. But now I'm not afraid to drink it. I had barely hit the road and I was like, wait a minute. Darn it. I gotta stop. Max is lucky. He just goes in the trailer. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully it'll not be too hot. It's been so gorgeous the last two days. I wish we could have had that weather, but I ride early tomorrow morning. I ride at 8.30, my first test, so that's going to be plenty cool. My second one is at around 2.30 something, so that might be hotter. Um, the next day is at 10 something, so hopefully I'll be okay. See you when we get there. Video blog. <laughs> So paying attention to the goofy hat. <laughs> Keep the sun out of my eyes, off my face. Well, so far I've done one. I did my training level one this morning at 8.30. It's the first time Max has ever just gone all night in a stall, been pulled out of a stall to slap the saddle on and go and ride a test. Considering that, I'm amazed how well we did. We came in second, but here's the exciting part. We would have won the class by two points if I hadn't screwed up the pattern again. <sighs> I'm so mad at myself, but I'm so happy. I, I cannot believe it, I didn't expect it at all. So yeah, he's doing really well. And part of the reason I think I screwed up is well, I have the two tests in my head. That's the challenge of doing two different tests here. The canter is in a different place. And I went to do the canter in the wrong spot, but also because there was a little mix up of how we were supposed to start. The ring steward was telling people one thing and the judge was thinking it was another. So right when I went in, I thought I was supposed to start from inside the ring and she said, no, you have to trot in. So I'm thinking, oh no, I'm getting knocked off for that. But it turned out it wasn't, but it kind of flustered me and I think that's part of the reason I forgot. But anyway, I'm happy. What'd you get? <laughs> this is a video. This is a video. I don't know. Okay. 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 
I forgot to ask anyone to film me the first day for my two tests, but Hannah very kindly filmed me on Sunday. So here is my Sunday morning, about more like 11 o'clock test. This actually went pretty well. It went better than the one I did yesterday because yesterday afternoon I overwarmed him up and it was so hot and he was tired, but we did okay. And then this test he felt better and we got you know pretty decent marks which is why I'm so mad at myself because there's one point in this test where well, I mean all the mistakes are mine he never does bad things or tries to avoid whatever he does not well is because he doesn't know it well enough or he's just physically not strong enough to do you know more um, and the strength will come but it they're all my errors <laughs> from bad writing to just not doing my circles in the right shape or you know whatever uh, not doing it. transitions are really important going from one gate to the other and normally he's pretty good going from the walk to the trot he's really good and coming back from the canter into the trot he's usually really good still getting into the canter is, from the trot is difficult for him um, but he's getting better at it but the downwards to the trot is always good and i blew it on the second one we did and it was right in front of the judge so I'll show you when that comes up because that's counted twice. There are certain things in your test that they count twice. Um, and that was one of them. <laughs> and where he normally would get like a 6.5 or a 7 for a transition to down to the trot, he got a 5. So that knocked our score down three and a half, maybe even four points. It would have been if we just did what we normally do. but. That's how it goes, I guess. <laughs> it's still hard not to beat yourself up. You make a stupid mistake and you do it right in front of the judge. Sorry, this footage is blurry. These are the second of the two serpentines. Oh, that's a Norwegian Fjord right there. That's a really cool looking horse. That's too bad you can't see it from the side. Very highly trained as well. I don't know what test they were riding, some higher level test. There was also a horse there, a Gypsy Vanner. And if you know what they are, they're stocky, small draft horse type with feather, long feathering hair on the legs and thick tails and manes. And he was black and white pattern. He just scaring all the horses including Max. Never seen anything like that. All right so here we are in the left canter and then he did a pretty decent job too and then we come down and always when he comes down in this final corner he always rushes and so here's right in front of the judge he falls down badly and the judge wrote disunited just because he didn't go nicely from the canter to the trot and uh, yeah that was all my fault just didn't let him know hey we're about to slow down here he didn't do a stretchy circle very well so he usually does these better than this at home he does it really well of course they all do everything well at home but he didn't want to stretch down too much the trot But I was happy. I was actually really, really happy with how the test went. Um, I felt like we had improved our canter overall, but I felt like I worked so much on the canter at home that I sort of went backwards a little bit in his trot. And he's a really nice halt. Good boy. Nice halt. And we were so lucky because Helen Toma is married to Sid Toma, a professional wildlife photographer, and he brought his camera and his big ass lenses. <laughs> <laughs> I took some really nice photos. This is zoomed in on one of his photos, so that's why it's not quite as clear, but you see, I just wanted to show everybody, but it was so great that he takes such beautiful photos. Go get some grass. 